Bone Remodeling in Children Children have a unique ability for healing of their fractures and remodeling of their deformities. The physician should strive to achieve an atomic reduction of fractures in children. You can see here a fracture forearm bone with fracture deformity. You can see excellent reduction of the forearm and in the diagram you can see the reduction. The surgeon may not be able to achieve acceptable reduction every time and these fractures don't always remodel. The deformity may lead to unacceptable results in cosmesis and function. So what are the rules for remodeling in children? The age of the patient, the younger the child, the more remodeling potential, the younger the better. Children with two or more years of growth left have a chance for remodeling. The periosteum in children is thick and promotes faster healing of the fractures and increased potential for remodeling. Distance. The distance of the fracture from the end of the bone. Fracture in the metaphysis remodels better than the one in the middle of the bone. You can see here fracture in the middle of the bone has less potential for remodeling. Fracture in the metaphysis remodels better because it is closer to the growth plate. Severity of angulation, minimal angulation, the bone could remodel completely. If the angulation is severe, the bone will only partially remodel. Angulation in the plane of joint movement is most likely to improve with growth and remodeling. How the deformity is remodeled? Remodeling means correction. So the osteoclast will resorb the bone from one side by eating that bone. The osteoclast will lay new bone formation. The preosseum will help in this manner and the bone will gradually straighten its shape. Remodeling will not improve displaced fracture involving the joint or the growth plate. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.